back, everybody. This is Lady Dubs, and we're picking up right where we left off. After a brief hiatus, that is. So I took some time, though, to do, like, the... Not really, like, the campaign thing. You know, like, those kind of things were like a beat-em-up part of the game where you just punch people a bunch. So I got some practice in right before I started playing, so I should be good. And we are on our way to... Say hello to Mr. Freeze. I have no idea where we are. Oh, yeah, we just came in there and we saw the hash slinging slasher, whatever his name was. Anyway, I will head over to Mr. Freeze. I will see you guys soon. I love you. Batman's back, baby. Ah, uh, I just had to do that. Also, I should look around and make sure I get any sort of, like, snipers off the roof. Yeah, okay. Give me a moment, people. I'm gonna take down these, uh, roof snipers before I start beating up the other fellas down there. Come on, Harley's on her way. We need to get in there. I can't do hey, this with you yapping at me. Just shut up already. Oh, I gotta level up. One moment. I'm gonna upgrade my armor. Give it that last little, little punch, you know? So I could take an extra punch. Alright, and I think I remember Quinn hearing these guys here, talk before in another video, so I'm gonna go no ahead way, and just, like, you know, plan. beat him up. I'm trying, start with the man. big guy. Hurry with the big guy! Oh, that did not go the way I hoped. Not at all! Oh! Back into it. Ah! Not doing really good! Yep. There we go. I'll kill you, Come on. Freak. Okay, I really gotta get back into this. Just down. Okay, good. Ah, uh, man, I ruined my combo. Ruined my combo again. Dang it! I am not having any luck with this. I gotta. I thought I did good because I went in like a little fight thing and I was able to like practice. Oh man, maybe it's because I'm talking while doing it. The other time I just be quiet and doing it. You would think, ow, I would be good at talking and hitting at the same time. I mean, I talk a lot already. Doesn't it use, like, different parts of your brain? Uh, we'll make sure ah! this hurts you, freak. Eh, here, catch! Alright, I gotta do. Eh. Get back! Time to retire, No! Eh. Okay. Knock that down. Oh, I just remembered the kind of combo I should be using instead of the one I'm using right now, if that makes sense. If not, don't worry about it. I don't make any sense to myself half the time. Just get... Yeah! I want the heavy. Okay, good. He's gone. Give me that. Get down. Oh. Oh, no, you're toy. Alright, that did not go well. Not at Why all. do you keep doing this to me? It's like you idiots spend every single day thinking up ways to leave me bitterly disappointed. Harley, when you get to the GCPD, kill a couple of them for me, will you, dear? No problem, sweetie. If any of you are still conscious, get back to base now. Okay. You know, I never really thought about this before, but how the hell is he able to see me? Like, I understand if he has speakers, but I don't know if he has cameras everywhere. That thought never occurred to me until now. Whatever, let's go say hi to Dr. Freeze. Oh, going into the cutscene. Impressive, Batman. I doubted you would actually return. I'm a man of my word, Victor. You should know that by now. Yeah, Batman's a lot of things. But if he says he's gonna do something, he'll do it. Formula is complete. Bonding process appears to have been successful. How are you feeling? You look unwell. Give it to me. I'm afraid I cannot do that, Batman. You have given me your last order. This is not a time for negotiation. I think it is. 
The clown has my wife. Bring her back to me. You don't want to do this, Freeze. Oh, I believe I do. You will bring me Nora, or you will die. Ugh, I hate this boss fight. You are in my world. Oracle, Freeze is attacking me. Get me the telemetry feed from his suit, now. No problem. Bruce, remember what happened last time. Don't try to take him on in a straight-up fight. He's too powerful. Okay, Dad is ready. Coming through now. Okay, uh, I really dislike this fight with him. People say, oh, he learns throughout the fight. You guys are different. No, like it's just like you need to use different oh, methods to kill him, and it's really annoying. I think I just say this because ah! Eh. Hiding, hiding, hiding. I think I'm just like this because. I can see your footprints. You cannot hide. Not trying to. Sorry, one moment. Ah, come on. Okay. Running. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I I've said I played this game on New Game Plus. I've honestly never beaten it on New Game Plus. Because of Freeze. I could never beat him. He was just too tough. Alright, let's see if I can lure him down here actually. So don't think him. Yeah, right. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can lure him down here. I'll see you guys in a bit. Up, uh, did not work. I do wish that I will find you and kill There it is! No! Yeah. That's a lot of to see. He's too dangerous. Okay. That's one down. I learned from my mistakes, Batman. Do you? Unfortunately, no. Uh, right, another way. Another way to do this is not viable on this side of the fence. Oh, you know what? Can I like... Yeah, okay, that's one way. Yeah! I used the walker thing on you. Hopefully... How many times do I have to do this on you? I have another plan to lure him into the trap. This might take a while, though. Ugh, this boss fight's gonna take forever.
Please, find Nora. She's all I have left. I mean, you got a really cool freeze gun. It's over. That was all I could manufacture. Harley Quinn took it. What are you waiting for? Go and get it back. Clever. The clown must pay for what he has done to us. It's not that simple. Joker's got the steel mill locked down. Getting in will not be easy. Perhaps I can help. I've been working on a new projectile system. Maybe these will provide the edge you need. I promise you, Victor. I will find Nora. All right, got the freeze blast. Yeah. High-powered sub-zero temperature projectile, which detonates on impact, used to solidify water or temporary incapacitate assailants. This is the last gadget you get in the game. Ooh, we got into Nora profile. Let's read that. All right, so Nora freeze. No. Occupation not applicable because she's frozen. Same as the base did, but her eyes are blue, hair blonde, high five foot six, weigh 145 pounds. First appearance, Batman, Mr. Freeze, 1997. Beautiful Nora Freeze found undying love when she married the shy but brilliant cryogenesis Victor Freeze. After she was struck with a rare disease, Victor used his lab to freeze Nora in a state of suspended animation until he could find a cure. Since then, Nora has been trapped between life and death. Victor became Mr. Freeze while willing to break every law in his desperate search for a means to cure Nora. Her only abilities is that she was a gifted dancer. You do feel kind- I do feel a little bad for her. Because she really didn't choose that. Oh, we got the profile for Hush, actually. I don't know if I read this already. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to read it. Skip it if you don't care to listen. All right, Hush. Real name, Thomas Tommy Elliot. Occupation, surgeon and serial killer. Based in Gotham City's eyes blue, formerly brown, hair reddish brown. Height 6'3", weigh 225 pounds. First appearance, Batman, number 609, January 2003. Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends and, unknown to Bruce, dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could control their fortune. When his plans failed due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot blamed the Wayne family for his problems. An incredibly gifted surgeon as an adult, Elliot has spent decades planning an elaborate revenge scheme to destroy Bruce Wayne. Great physical strength augmented by the drive of revenge. World-class surgeon, master of disguise, determined to destroy Bruce Wayne. Well, we get some background on that so sociopath. And we got something here for Hugo. Did we listen to this tape already? How does it feel, Wayne? To stand on the very uh, stones yes. that ran with that. your parents' blood. Do uh, you feel sad? I'm gonna just see if I can make rage. that stop because that's really or long. Does that ah, okay, that's better. Yeah, we already listened to that with dramatic music already, and we got this answer to a riddle. Maxi Zeus. Not every building in Arkham City was in despair before the mega prison was constructed. One operating building was in the Gotham City Olympus nightclub, originally owned by Maxi Zeus. Although Maxi disappeared in Arkham Asylum after one too many rounds of electric shock therapy, the club kept running in his absence, leading some to think Maxi hasn't gone far. Yeah, we never see him, by the way. Oh, well, let's take a moment to say hi to Mr. Freeze, shall we? Please, find my wife. Aren't you just a big crybaby? So, by the way, since I now have this weapon, I can get all the other uh, Riddler trophies I haven't been able to get to yet. So, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to get them all. I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah. Not good. We're 
apologize for this interruption. We've been hit. We're going down. Mayday! Mayday! Bye, Vicky. All right, I guess I'm obligated to save Vicky Vale before I continue on with my Riddler Stone trophy search. Ah! Hello? Oh, there's a Gotham. I don't know if you can hear me. My news copter has been shot down. We've crashed down somewhere in Arkham City. We need help. We're right. now stuck on part of the old Gotham freeway in what looks like a turf war between. <gasps> what the hell was that? Oh God! There are snipers. They're all around my position. I can see what looks like inmates moving in on us. Ah, please! If anyone can hear me, send help! No this worry, Vicky Vicky. Vale. I repeat, this is Vicky Vale. If you can hear this, help me! I can't oh. see you. Look harder. Joker wants the reporter dead. Yeah, okay, I'm trying. I just can't get a clear shot. Just keep pointing your gun over where she was. She'll stick her pretty little head out sooner or later. And when she does, blow it off. Well, you guys have a nice strategy going on. I hate to disrupt it. JK, I totally don't mind disrupting it. All right, let's get this other sniper. Fire has seized from Dini Towers. I can no longer see the snipers on the roof of the apartment building. Yeah, that's right, Biggie. Keep reporting what you're seeing. This bitch is mine. Don't speak too soon. Joker will be pissed if you screw this up. What are you talking about? No way am I gonna miss a shot at putting a bullet through that annoying reporter's face. Uh-huh. Alright, gotta do you quietly. You got a minute, dude? I hate to interrupt, but JK, I don't want to interrupt. Okay, let's go save Vale, shall we? It appears that the snipers covering my position from the southeast have gone. The roof of the Kirshen building has gone quiet. Either they've all left, or someone has taken them out. Oh, fire. If you can hear me, this is Vicky Vale. I am running out of time. I can't move from my position. My pilot is dead. I need help. I will continue to report for you, Gotham, for as long as I am able. Don't worry, Vicky. I'm here. Still back to the pilot, though. What are you wearing, girl? That's not what you, you should wear be to safe here for now. Stay here and keep out of sight. Any chance I could get an exclusive? Care to tell Gotham what's going on with your face? <laughs> no. Stay there and be quiet. Now, that's no way to talk to the nice reporter, Lady Bats! What do you want? Who are you talking to? Now, see what you've done. The poor woman's all confused. Hardly surprising, I suppose. I mean, she's just been in a terrible accident. <laughs> that you caused. How dare you! I've never been so... Oh, what the hell? Yes, okay. It was me. I just needed a little time to guarantee that Harley got back to me with my delicious cure. And if you're a good boy, I may even save a little for you. It's unlikely, I know, but I'm really your last hope now, aren't I? Well, aren't you just a pleasant well, Gotham, man? It appears I'm safe. For now. I've just been rescued by Batman. He saved me from what felt like certain death at the hands of snipers, all working for the Joker. How did the Joker's crew get their hands on sniper rifles in a maximum security prison? That, Gotham, is a question I intend to put to Professor Strange if I ever get out of here. I have to say that I have been shocked at the conditions on the ground in this so-called prison facility. So far tonight, I have witnessed armed gang members running wild, murder and mutilation on the streets, and a complete lack of authority. We were told that Arkham City is good for Gotham. If that's true, maybe that good comes at a price we shouldn't have to pay. This is Vicki Vale, talking to you live and hoping she'll stay that way in Arkham City. Hey, let's see what happens when we talk to her. Any truth to the rumors that the Joker has poisoned Gotham? What about this place? Do you approve of Professor Strange? Come on, Batman. Give a girl a break. Nah. Thanks for the help back there. Are you sure you have no comment? Yes, I am sure. Come on, Batman. There's more going on than meets the eye, right? Eh, yeah, kinda. Do you think the Joker made the call to the network? It must have been him. He got us just where he wanted us. Yeah, of course. It was obvious. Come on, Batman. There's more going on than meets the eye, right? And also, we got a new side mission. I completely forgot about this. 
Good news, Master Bruce. I believe we have identified the cure. Mr. Fox has manufactured enough to heal you and is working on a larger batch for the people of Gotham. The Batwing has been dispatched, and it should be within your vicinity shortly. I'm sure I don't need to remind you not to waste any time in taking it. All right, yeah, there's that side mission. All right, so you know what? I'm going to take the opportunity to, uh, oh, yeah, i got to save Mr. Freeze's wife. I managed to track Nora down to somewhere in this area. Please find her for me, Batman. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to spend this episode not going after the Joker, but getting all the Riddler trophies I can get and doing two side missions. Excellent! See you guys when something happens. Ooh, free beer. Probably have to swim for it, though. Oh! It's the dude! The dude that just hangs around and gives me riddles. Not like the Riddler, though. The moment is close. The truth will soon be shown. Okay. Bye, mystery dude. Alright, scan the symbol. Oh, technically I'm gonna be doing three side missions, I suppose. The four symbols create a master sigil that looks like it fits over the map of Arkham City. Okay. Uh, let's see. It has to align. Yep. Make that bigger. Turn it around. Nope. That's a uh, little too big. Little too big. That is what she said. I have to make that joke. I'm sorry. It's literally mandated for someone like me to make a joke like that. Uh, is that perfect? Does that line up? No. Uh, maybe if I, like, go out like this. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. The symbols have marked a point on the map of Arkham City. Alright. Uh, return to me. Okay, so I will also be going to that thing as well. Got a lot going on this time around, don't I? Oh, I got a new interview tape. Listen to videotape. Oh, it's from Mr. Freeze. Oh, I got two from Mr. Freeze. Nice. Let's see if I got any more. Nope, but hey, let's go listen to those tapes. That's one of the things that you get when you get all the Riddler trophies. You get these really cool tapes, these interview tapes. They're really awesome. Prisoner's here, sir. Very good. Send him in. But we haven't got the suit off him yet. He's dangerous. Are you sure? Of course. Victor Freeze and I have much in common. We will be fine. Welcome to my facility. Please, take a seat. I prefer to stand. Why am I here? Oh. Victor, there will be plenty of time for that later. Right now, I wish to get to know you. Discover how you came to have such a frosty outlook on life. I have nothing to say to you. You may have taken my weapons, but my suit still has considerable offensive capabilities. I will freeze the marrow in your legs. Each bone will shatter and fracture while you remain completely aware of your impending paralysis, begging me to end you. I don't think that you will do that, Victor. Really? Why not? Simple. If you hurt me, your wife will die. Big SOB that Hugo Strange. Where is she? Where is my wife? Nora is in safe hands. Now, let's discuss an incident from your childhood. No. Then this is over. Guard. Wait. What do you wish to learn? Your early years were troubled. I was not a sociable child, but that is all. Even your parents disowned you. They sent you away to a reform school, correct? They did not understand my work. Your work? According to a police report, you froze over a dozen of your neighbor's pets. I have always had an interest in cryonic preservation. 
I didn't understand why my parents allowed our sick pets to die instead of attempting to save them. So I set about finding my own way. I intended to revive all of those creatures. But you didn't, which brings us to Nora. Yep. Really depressing stuff going on now. But I'm gonna take a little break from that and find some more trophies. Batman came in here and kicked his 30 ass. 30 days has November. No way, man. April, June, and him. September. It's a trick. The boss has got a plan. Was the plan to have Batman kick him around the room and leave him hanging over the acid tank? <laughs> Must have been. Look, we just need to sit tight in here. When Two-Face comes back, he'll have a plan and we can take this place back for ourselves. Yeah, screw Joker. Screw Penguin. All hail Two-Face. Take it easy, man. Sorry. Thought it was one of those high-five moments. It's not. Hey. That's here. Oh, wow, you guys know me? I'm impressed. Oh, I should have taken the opportunity to get rid of those weapon grades. Ah, whatever. I can just enjoy this in the meantime. A little break from the usual. So essentially, I just want to show you guys that to show that two things is kind of going underground now, so he's not really going to be a problem. Ow. Alright, I'll see you guys later. This is going to be a bit. Oh man, I'm going to die. I'm not paying enough attention. Oh, yeah, I did. Well, that sucks. Looks like your luck's run out, Batman. Oh, I ended up getting a Two-Face ending screen because I got beat up by Two-Face's men. How nice. I like how they stuck to their guns on that one. I hate end screens. Hate them so much. All right. Where's the boss? Who knows? Batman came in here and kicked his ass. Was the plan to have Batman kick him around the room and leave him hanging over the acid tank? Yeah, 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 yeah. Batman. It's Batman. Just get rid of these dudes. This time I'm not gonna mess up. This won't take long. We'll be. Oh no! I took out the green guy. Oh man! Close. This is gonna hurt. Satisfying as I would like. It seems I got some more tapes unknowingly. Let's see. I just wanted to see if I was missing anything in the courthouse, though, because that's just where I came from. And courthouse is not on this list. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's go listen to this tape, shall we? I hit the wrong button. What else is new? Ah, okay. Let's see. Who we got tapes from? We got tapes for Catwoman. All right. We found the prisoner attempting to break into your office, sir. I see. Leave us. Yes, sir. Well, well, as I live and breathe, Professor Hugo Strange. Your posters really don't do you justice. You really are far more evil-looking in real life. Charles, tell me, what do you plan to do, Miss Kyle? I assume that you were attempting to break into my office in order to retrieve your ill-gotten gains. You stole them from me. Hardly. The items were confiscated upon your arrest. Yeah, about that. This holiday camp of yours is quaint and all, Hugo. But I don't think I'll be staying too long. Escape is impossible. A girl loves a challenge. So do I. Alright, yeah, so Catwoman's not backing down, it seems. That a girl. It's the bat! Don't even think about lying to me. Riddler, tell me everything. Okay, don't hurt me! This is all I know! You've been very educational. I can hurt you more than you can imagine. Tell me about Riddler. Riddler? Okay, I don't know much, but I'll talk. Don't hurt me! I can't guarantee that. The crunch is satisfying. Oh. 
What do I need to break to make you tell the truth about Riddler? You don't need to do nothing! I'll talk! Glad to hear it. Somewhere there's one big-ass vault full of money, and everything else strange is taken from us. Man, I wish I knew where it was. Strange ain't human. I almost pity Sharp for getting involved with him. What Hugo Strange had on Sharp to make him turn over control of Gotham. Tell me what I want to know about Riddler, or get ready to eat through a straw. This is all I know! Don't hurt me! Of course not. Where are my smokes? I told you, they took them off me. I tried, but there were too many of them. They had knives. What was I supposed to do? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you scared? Yeah. yeah. Another mission done. Side mission, that is. I wonder if I got all these guys. Acts of violence side mission. I wonder if I got them all yet. Ooh, we're the trophy. Nice. Batman. Thank you. You're welcome. I wonder how the audio is. Even though I said I'm gonna give up on trying to fix the audio because it's just been too hard and I've been trying for months and nothing's resolved. I still want the audio to be good. The fact of the matter is, is that I love video games. I love them a lot. And I love video games that tell the story, and that's why I started the channel. Look who it is. Little Mr. Cobblepot, all locked up in his own museum. <laughs> Forgot about that. Did the big bad bat do this? Or was it the cat? Nah, boy. I'll get out of here. And then you're gonna regret this. Really? I'll let the boss know when he gets here. What? Oh, sorry. Didn't I? It's Batman! Aw, oh, man. I wanted to keep hearing you guys talk. Oh well. A moment, I'm going to save the penguin. Hey, how you doing, penguin? Well, look who's back to see me. What's up, Batman? Did the little bird tell you that Two Face is back? I'm surprised he didn't kill you. What did you do? Hide. Who do you think you're talking to? Oswald Copperpot doesn't hide from anyone. Understand? He just... He just didn't see me, that's all. How convenient. In all honesty, you're kind of up there on display. If he didn't see you, that's kind of on him. I'll take all this back. Just wait and see. You're going in my collection, Batman. I always get what I want. Whatever you say, Penguin. I wonder if the shark is still there. I guess we're about to find out. I use big brain. Ooh, there's dudes in here. Arm dudes. A lot of arm dudes. Not expecting that. Oh, these are Two Faces dudes. Right, Two Face ended up taking over the museum. Do, do you want to help help your buddy there, buddy? Nope. Ah! There we go. I know you're lying. I I'm not. Please, don't don't hurt me. I'll walk. Good night. I cleared out that room very nicely. I'm proud of me. No shark for me. Ah, maybe shark, maybe shark. Okay. No shark. Alright. Let's see. Museum. Yeah. Got a concept art. Got a, another concept art. Got a concept art. I ain't got a concept art. Okay, not not the best. Not the best thing. But do I have... A, is that a tape I have? Oh, we got a voicemail from Joker. A new one. Uh, okay, so... Did we you listen to this one? one missed call. Hey, been missing you. Get oh, we already listened to that one. So, let's you do this one. one missed call. Hey, Bats, are you okay? I'm sorry I had Harley steal your cure. You were so busy with freezing, she didn't even have time to ask. 
But don't worry, as soon as that little minx is back here and I've had my share, I'll save some for you. You'll have to work for it, but it will be right here waiting for you. You probably won't believe this, but I don't really think I can sit back and watch you die. <laughs> It's selfish, really, but we need each other. Life would be so boring without you. Who would I talk to? Who would really understand me? Joker, I think it's all in your head that Batman understands you. I don't think anyone understands you. Hey, I just found an answer to a riddle. Arkham City, opened by Mayor Quincy Sharp on November 19th, year one something. And yeah, they don't... Wait, what? Deal with all the new weapons those tiger creeps are using. They're insane. I mean, that looks like a one, so is this like taking place in like the 1990s or something? No, that, they had smartphones. It must just be like a me not seeing it right. Anyway, such are too small. All right, let's just... There we go. Was it writing on the wall the when the moment came in? I thought he was mayor now. All right, let's take a look what this says. Open for business. Mayor Quincy Sharp looked proud as he addressed Gotham on the night of Arkham City officially open for business. As he introduced Hugo Strain to the mass of journalists, he felt sure that the hard work and sacrifices had been worth it. He could hardly believe that he had achieved so much in the 18 months since the events of Arkham Island. As the champagne bottle smashed against the wall, Strange whispered to him that he would soon have Catwoman Two-Face arrested and brought to his prison. Quincy smiled. With Arkham City's construction complete, he was guaranteed approval of the city, and with all the supervillains in his custody, their next target would be Batman, the person he blamed for everything. Okay, so this, the events take place, no well, this place open in November, so I guess yeah. now we're maybe in, like, February? I just want to, like, assume, like, maybe, like, two or so months went by since then, given how, like, everything went to crap. I have to imagine that took time. Alright, back to Riddler hunting. I hear teeth! Teeth! Where are you? You in there? Teeth! Stupid teeth! I'm gonna have to backtrack again because my cryptographer isn't strong enough to open several of these things. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna head over to the side mission now. The one where we got a call from Alfred saying that the cure was made by, uh, Fox. Lucius Fox. So, let's go ahead and do that. You know, we're gonna do a little strategically. Make him go away. Make him go away. Or their guns, at least. And for funsies, we're gonna freeze this guy. Huh? Hey, what's going on, boys? Come on, we're born with you. Work, damn you! Yeah, the gun ain't working on for them, huh? Yeah, I guess that could be you, huh? What? Over here, I got it! Oh, ah, yeah, here. you got new guns. Give me that. Uh, yeah, you can sleep. Alright. So, this is the mission where we got a call from Alfred saying that they made the cure and they dropped it off for us. Looks like we got a bad batch, huh, Batman? Uh. Really bad batch. Or a particularly good batch, now I think about it. More no, tea, not a good batch. Batman? Where am I? What's going on? What a question. Shall I tell him? Oh, he looks so confused. Maybe I should. Well, it's simple, really. I planted a teeny tiny little idea in your head. A sort of remote hypnotic suggestion. Very complicated stuff. I'm sure you wouldn't understand, but as you can see, it worked. You're mine now. You're mine, and there's nothing that Strange can do about it. Oh, are you not going to drink your tea? It's special tea. My special tea. My special tea. <laughs> Go to hell, Jervis. Nah. Simply put, I made you see what you wanted most. Mm hmm. What was it? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, tell me. <laughs> so predictable, just like Alice. Never doing what I want without ludicrous amounts of psychoactive controls. 
Well, if that's what's necessary, it's a good job that you've already taken them. All we need now is a finishing touch. A special new hat. Just for you. You are my soldier now, Batman. You will do everything I say. Nah, you nah, will do nah. anything I want. Ugh, nightmare. No, 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 no. Ugh. This isn't right. You can't be doing this. Jeez, the hell did you give me, Jarvis? Your mind belongs to me now. This is kind of flashback. Do you guys remember we had a similar incident like this back in uh, Arkham Origins? Good times. Good to see good old Jarvis has changed much over the years, huh? Ugh. This place is like trippy as all hell. It's hard to focus on the fight with everything going on, you know? Eh. You feel sleep? Eh. Gotta do this carefully, methodically. Don't get hit. You lose the combos. Come on. Relax. Get down! Alright, every single time we see the little pattern dude pop up, we gotta feed him in. Easy enough. Don't you feel kinda bad for the men here? Alice would be here soon, Batman. You don't want to miss her now, do you? I'm totally cool with missing her, honestly. And what technically is Alice in your head? Like, I understand you mean like Alice from like the character book Alice in Wonderland, but like who is she to you in relative? Like, in the book, Alice was... Well, in all honesty, I've read the book. The Mad Hatter doesn't have that great of a... Close purpose in the book. Line. He's just in like a... Yeah, wrong button. He wasn't that big of a character in the book, from what I can remember. So, yeah. It was just like a guest at his tea party, and that was really it. He didn't you really have that deep win. of a relationship. I don't know, I feel like Jarvis, you're misinterpreting the book, or you're just going a little crazy on it, or maybe you just Stop read the Disney version, it. and that was the real Aha! I'm trying to do a ground takedown. There we go. Ah. Ah. Ugh, that thing is ugly. Oh, we got his interview tapes, it would seem. Oh. Oh. Hello, everybody. You're all dead. Oh, no, you're all just unconscious. Okay, we didn't do anything bad then. Well, we did bad things, but no illegal bad things. Well, technically illegal bad things. Not capital murder. And we got a lot of interview tapes for Hatter, so we're going to listen to them. Patient interview one. Subject's name, Jervis Tetch, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter. Brought to Arkham Asylum by the Batman six months ago. Patient exhibits signs of obsessive compulsion and paranoid schizophrenia. Sit down, Mr. Tetch. But it's not time to sit. I need Alice. Where is my Alice? Please. No time to sit, not time to chat. I'm searching for Alice and I've lost my head. Guard, restrain Mr. Tetch. Get off me. Get off me, I'm late. I'm running out of time, Alice. Where are you? Alice isn't here yet. Just relax, Jervis. She will be here soon. But, but, I promise. But, but when... Now, would you like some tea? Here yet? No, I'm afraid not. Let us talk while we wait. You and I have much in common, Jervis. Really? Do you know Alice too? Unfortunately not. You and I both share an interest in the mind, do we not? I studied your papers, Jervis. You are quite brilliant. Truly an extraordinary mind. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all just chemicals and synapses and rabbits and... Oh, where is Alice? 
You need to focus. Think about your work for a minute. You theorize that there is no such thing as free will, that you can change a man's allegiances, his motives, emotions, all of what we believe makes a man with chemicals. Your formula was really quite brilliant. That's why I used it. Well, how, how, how did you get it? Did Alice give it to you? <gasps> Wicked girl. Nasty little thing. Is she here yet? Soon, Jervis, soon. Is she? Oh, you told me that Alice would be here. She is, Jervis. She's right here. Alice? Alice, come out. Don't pout. Don't make me shout. Alice, come out. Where are you? Take a look at the pictures, Jervis. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Who, who are these people? Look again. Oh, I, 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 I don't know who they are. Oh, please, is Alice here or not? Look at the first picture. Look at the dress she is wearing. Look at the hair. It's Alice, isn't it? No, no, no. It can't be Alice. Alice has nice yellow hair. And isn't covered in blood. I think you know exactly who this is, Mr. Tetch. I think you remember the night you lured Stephanie Williams back to your research lab. How you offered her tea. What happened then? No, no, no. You killed her, didn't you? No. She went first. It's okay, Jervis. It's all right to remember. How many Alices were there? I, I can't remember. <laughs> well, Alice isn't coming, is she? That all depends on how you cooperate. I have a little side project that I'm working on. I could use your help. My help? I can't help. I'll be late. Stay focused, Jervis. This facility is old, tired, full of ghosts. Ghosts? A figure of speech. Do not worry. Arkham Asylum will not exist forever. Its techniques are old, its mission outdated. I intend to create a new Arkham, an Arkham that will rise phoenix-like from the ashes of this one. Is there a fire? We should get out of here. I have arranged for some documents to be left in your cell. They outline a technique I propose to control the mind of, uh, shall we just say, weaker souls. I cannot do it without rabbits. I need rabbits for my research and tea and... And Alice, I know. I have arranged for a number of test subjects to be at your disposal. They have been here at Arkham for so many years that no one will miss them. Shall we meet again next week? Oh, and I took the liberty of having your hats returned. I assume that will provide all the encouragement you require. All right, last one. Well done, well done. I must say you have outperformed even my wildest expectations. Yes. Did you see the people at my tea party? They all behaved themselves. <laughs> yes, they did, Jervis. I'm very pleased. I have just one last request to make of you. You must keep it a secret. Can you keep a secret, Jervis? With enough hats, I can stop people remembering secrets. Does that count? It will have to. I need you to pay a visit to Warden Sharp. He needs to come around to my way of thinking. <gasps> to join our tea party? Exactly. I don't want to. Of course you do. How else will you get to play with Alice? What? I have a new assistant for you, Jervis. I had her brought in specially. Look at her. She's just through there. Oh, it's Alice. She's here. No, no, what are you doing? I need to see her. And you can, as soon as you do what I asked. Can I keep her? Of course. She'll be all yours. She's Alice. Wow, Strange just straight up gave his assistant to him. And she's probably dead now. 
That is next level messed up, man. Not as messed up as this, I guess. Oh, I remember this was an answer to a riddle. Alice in Wonderland. I wonder how you can land an appointment with uh, against God. But Mad Hatter, two of two. Let's just read this. If Hugo Strange's plans were going to work, he needed a way to control Quincy Sharp. Having worked with Tetch for months, he had refined and perfected a psychoactive compound that would make anyone who ingested it more malleable and open to suggestion. The next day, Strange invited Sharp to join him for tea at his office in the administration building. And lo, Strange slowly but surely got Sharp on his side. And, yeah, I guess that's really all that's left in here. Nothing really besides an unconscious Mad Hatter. Alright, later. Moving on to the next thing. Okay, we're at the spot. Yeah, where, like, the mystic dude was. Yeah, oh, here he is. Oh, and here he is again. Hi. I knew you would find me. It wasn't hard. You left me a map. Who are you and what do you want? Why are you watching me? We have been given many names, but you will come to know me as Azriel, loyal servant to the Order of Saint Dumas. Just what I need. Another secret society. I bring a message. Dark days are coming, Batman. The prophecy is coming true. You are the warrior who will close the gates of hell. You are the one who will save this day. And in doing so, events will occur that you cannot stop. From the ashes of Arkham, the fires will rage and Gotham will burn. And you... You will burn too. I don't believe in fairy tales. Believe what you will. The message has been delivered. We will meet again. Yeah, in Arkham Knight. We never see him again. That's where this whole story ends with Azrael. Flag for further investigation at the Batcave. Yep. We don't we don't talk to him ever again. Uh, yeah. That, I remember being really disappointed by that because I was so curious as to who the hell he was, and we just you don't get anything until you play the next game. Let's see. Does this update? Yeah. Now he's called Azrael. Oh, was this here before? Real name Michael Lane, police officer, Gotham City, brown, black, six foot two, two, two ten, first appearance, Azrael, Death Dark Knight, number one. Uh, years ago, Michael Lane was part of a program to create Ultimate Crime Fighter. Instead, it turned him into an insane criminal. Thwarted by Batman, Michael confessed his sins to a priest of the secret religion's religious sect, the Order of the Purity. They recruited Michael to fight evil as their crusader, Azrael, wearing the mythical suit of sorrows and wielding the sword of sin. If Michael does not keep his soul pure, the suit of sorrows will destroy him. The suit of sorrows bestows enhanced strength, stamina, and speed. The, swords, the sword of sin burns the souls of the damned, prone to fits of insanity, military and police trained tactician. Well, that's great. A guy who's completely unstable, just like Batman, is also running around Gotham. I wonder the cities and shit. I don't know why I'm being so pessimistic now. Oh, my bad! Forgot to go. Forgot to keep I'm telling going. you, no one's gonna be able to get close without us seeing. You could use these sniper rifles to kill ants from up here. We were lucky to get them. I heard Batman stop the guys Joker sent down to get the last shipment. Tell me about it. Joker sounded pissed. He wants Batman dead. Let's not disappoint him. Yeah. If I see the bat, he's mine. That's good to know. Uh-huh. Don't worry, I'll get you soon too, buddy. And... Alright. We are at the point where we're like right outside where Mr. Freeze's side mission is, and I think I'll do that side mission. What's up with this and I'll end the episode there. Makes sense to me. And then I'll spend like the rest of the uh not the rest of the video, just like in the background, I'll collect some more statues. And then I'll go after Joker. So on and so forth. Yeah. This thing is like a little hidden, but eh, whatever. Nice little hidden door, never hurt nobody. Except for the people who are about to meet up. Now where am I? Oh, oh, there. Okay. So how are we gonna decide who keeps the ice cube? I wanna. It's my turn. You always get your turn. 
How about rock, paper, scissors? Well, can you even play that with three people? Sure you can. Come on, let's do it. One, two, three. All paper. What are the odds? They all are rocks. Well, look like I went to school. <laughs> One, two, three. Gun beats paper. No, gun doesn't beat paper. Stick to the rules. One, two, three. What the hell is that? Thumbs up. Dynamite. For the love it. Again. One, two, three. You sure this works with three players? Yeah, go again. One, two, three. Thought I told you, no dynamite. <laughs> what was this, best of three? This is gonna be a long night. One, two, three. All paper. What are the odds? All right, they're just Do gonna I keep on like talking. So school? I'm gonna take out the big guy first. Yes. And now we can now process of beating up these dudes. Nope. This will be easy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no. Get away from guns. Guns are bad. Ow. We're gonna make this hurt. Ah. Uh, guns. Guns. I should let Freeze know as soon as possible. Return, Mr. F oh, I gotta go back to the GCPD building. Well, hello there, Nora. How are you? Oh, you know what? Can I is this a riddle? No, not yet. And that is, I think I saw a trophy down here, but I think, yeah, it's a Catwoman trophy. Well, let's see, can I scan that? No. Ah, whatever. That just means I gotta come back later with Catwoman. Oh, also I can unlock that door. Nice! And the password is frozen bait. Uh, not really creative, but it is honest. All right, I'm gonna run to the GCPD building and end the video there. Once I'm done beating up this dude with the knife. Oh, and this dude with the bat. I see a dude with the shield over there too. I think I might take care of him as well. Ah, for shield. Now I'm gonna break your face. Or your crotch. Breaking something at least. Wonder what's on TV right now. Alright, where are you, Freeze? Oh, you still there? Kneeling a bit. Alright, got her. I found her, Freeze. She's safe. Nora, where is she? She was locked up in Warehouse 5B in the Falcone shipping yard. She's safe, Victor. You can go to her. Thank you, Batman. I doubted you. I am sorry. Well, we did it. We got Nora back. Let's I am preparing a solution to remedy whatever damage the clown has caused my beautiful Nora. Thank you for finding Nora. Also, I just kind of remembered something. If we go back there... We'll see Freeze and Nora together. So you know what? I'm gonna jump cut to that and I'll end the video there with that romantic spot. I'll see you soon. Okay, no? They're not here? I guess they will appear together later, I suppose. After I'm done fighting Joker or something. Well, in that case, I guess I'll just end the episode here with just Nora by her lonesome. A strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Eh, it doesn't really work with her now, doesn't it? Alright, well... If you guys enjoyed what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you so much for watching. Later.